Hey, what's up guys? My name is Daniel and in my hands is probably the most badass gas blowback rifle in AK platform ever. This is the new KWA AKG KCR. So as I just mentioned, this is going to be a gas blowback rifle based off the KWA AKG platform and does use the same magazines. Now this is going to be a very modern take on the AK platform with a ton of upgrades, so let's jump into it. Starting with the back, we are going to have a 5 position M4 mil spec style buffer tube. I decided to put a Magpul MOE stock in Dark Earth just because I wanted to show the customizations you can do to it. The buffer tube is also going to offer two QD mounts, one on the right and one on the left side of the buffer tube. The pistol grip has been changed from the original AK style pistol grip to an M249 style pistol grip that is very comfortable. One of the most thought out features that I really like about this gun is the selector switch. On the right side, you're going to have the standard AK selector switch with the top being safe, middle being full auto, and bottom being semi-automatic. But on the left side of the gun, you're going to have a Galil style selector switch so you can change the fire modes without moving your hands away from the fire control systems. On the left side of the gun, you are also going to have the standard mount for an optic rail if you want to add that, but it already comes included with a top rail for your standard Picatinny optics. The real EOTech you see mounted on the top rail is not included, but once again, I wanted to show the amount of customization you can do to this gun. Speaking of customizations, we are going to have a full rail system up on the handguard with rails on the right, left, and bottom of the gun. This is going to allow you to mount any of your favorite accessories in any configuration that you want, such as flashlights, grips, lasers, grenade launchers, and anything else you can imagine. I decided to put a flashlight on the right in case I'm in a low light setting, manta rail covers on the left, and AFG at the bottom. On the side, you're also going to see Magpul ladder rail covers. The iron sights have also seen a major upgrade and resembles very closely to an M4 style or M16 style set of iron sights. The rear iron sight is going to be adjustable for windage and offers two different peoples, one for CQB and one for longer range shots, and the front iron sight definitely looks like a sight from an M4 with an adjustable front sight post. Now if you're impressed with the externals of this gun, which you should be, you'll definitely be impressed with the internals of the gun as well. The gun is going to come standard with a 439mm inner barrel that is going to be a 6.05 diameter, so it is going to offer a lot of range and accuracy. On top of that, KWA has included their Type 4 hop-up unit that you can adjust without any tools and is very, very consistent. These internal upgrade parts for accuracy definitely shows where when I had a chance to shoot this gun, not only did it have a crazy long range, but it had little to no side to side deviation and every shot was dead on. Now if you guys are interested in this gun, it's more than likely because you're looking for a very realistic AK with felt recoil and this AKG is exactly that. It's going to field strip and function almost exactly like a real AK and is going to come with a 40 round magazine capacity. The gas efficiency on the gun and the magazine is extremely efficient where you can easily do a full magazine dump and get all the BBs out no problem. If you guys are interested in this amazing gas blowback AK platform, be sure to check it out on our website at airsoftgi.com. I hope you guys enjoyed your first in-depth look at the brand new KWA AKG KCR. Let us know what you guys think about this gun in the comments below. As always, my name is Daniel, this is GITV, and thanks for watching.